Okay, lesson one of frequency is titled distracted. This will not be hard for you and your students to grasp, right? There's so many messages, so many commercial messages. I heard once that students hear up to 500 commercial messages every day if they listen to the radio or watch TV or are online. There are so many messages that distract us from the truth about God. Like the truth is that he loves us and that he made us and that we are enough in him. These kind of messages, they get lost sometimes because there's hundreds and thousands of other messages that students hear about how they should look or how they should act or who they should be. We want them to hear from the true voice. They're very distracted. Well, God is speaking. God knows them and he loves them and he's whispering messages that we want them to hear. We're going to look at a passage in Exodus, Exodus 3, and this is the passage where Moses is out tending his flock of his father-in-law, and he sees something unusual. He sees a bush on fire, and that probably in the wilderness with lightning and different things isn't probably in and of itself that interesting. The interesting part was that the bush was not being consumed. This drew Moses in, and Moses came in And God began to speak to him and he said this, Moses, Moses. He began to talk to him directly. There's something about hearing God's voice that's very personal. God draws us in. He has ways of getting our attention and when he draws us in, he begins to speak to us. But he never speaks to us in general ways. It's very personal. Here's the the tip for you. Make sure your students know that God will draw them in that they have to be watching for how God is working. They have to be thinking about what God cares about, the lost, the least, the hurting. And when they notice these things, they'll notice God beginning to draw them in and he'll have something to say to them, something personal, something just to them, something that he wants them to know because God's love is unique. He knows them individually and he loves them for who they are, he's made them. This is a great passage to teach. I think a lot of students have heard about this passage, but you'll be able to bring it home that God says to Moses, 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 like he says to us, I want to know you and I want to speak to you. Distractions are everywhere, but God breaks through those to speak to us in unexpected ways.